Morning everybody. I wasn't going to film this week, but we got a really big week. Um, we're doing some repainting the roofs. Um, this week is like 18 grand or 20 grand. I can't remember the total figure, but we'll work that out towards the end of this week. So we've got the trailer on, which is our, holds our spray gun and stuff. And we washed down two roofs ready for repaint this week. We've got a bit of rain coming in at the moment, so we don't know if we'll paint now. Um, we had water come through this roof last night um, after I finished and shut off the lights. So we got an electrician coming out straight away to rectify the problem, work out well water come through which light and try and get it fixed for them um, and then we got all the paint ready to go I'll show you I'm going to take you up on the roof and show you the main reason the water was coming through the roof so this is the roof we washed it down yesterday and <clears throat> this is what you'll get <clears throat> sorry we got a bit of a cold but um, you'll get a lot of these cowboys coming through and doing cheap paint jobs on roofs. And this is what occurs. As you can see it up in there, the paint's lifting on the roof. So they put a cheap paint on the roof um, or they won't clean the roof, which we found out yesterday. All these fronts of the tiles weren't cleaned properly. So they've just sprayed over the whole roof one coat. As you can see, um, you can see the old paint there. There's no primer down on this. It's just one paint, one coat. You can see it's just, that's a bit of bat poo. Um, let's peel that up. But all, <clears throat> all the fronts of the, the main, main reason the water went through the roof is because this paint here was cracked straight up. So the water run down here into there and then straight back through the roof cavity. So you can see underneath the tile there, it's still wet. So, <clears throat> like there's water just pulling out there. So, you can see there's water just there, still up underneath the tiles. And that's what occurs. <clears throat> you can see the little crack there. You can see the water still in there. So <clears throat> what the water does is it comes down the roof, it'll hit that little barrier and then it'll, it'll dam up in there and it'll travel back up into the ceiling cavity. And then you got water in the roof. You can see how much paint come off the roof, like a ton of stuff come off the roof. So um, the roof's in good condition now. So what we'll do is we'll come through with a heavy primer, prime all this bare stuff and the rest of this paint, and then we'll put two top coats straight over top of that and it'll be a nice, nice um, sealed roof. So, so um, I won't talk too much more about that. I did a live, um, so go back to the start of the week or yesterday and have a look at that i'll talk a little bit more about what happened on that job site um so we're just going to wait for the electrician to rock up and then get this problem solved for the tenants and then um see what this weather does if the weather pulls out then we'll prime the roof all right so we're watching this rain real carefully as we spray as you can see over here the wind is shearing off to the side there for some reason so all that rain clouds going over that way it's moving quite fast so there's, there's not much in behind it so we're just keeping an eye on that we're not spraying too far ahead of ourselves in case we got a respray normally i would just call a day off but i've got so much work on i'm trying to pump it out without getting caught in the rain as to so to speak but as you can see it is quite gnarly under here um, you can see where a lot of the paints has come off. So we're spraying a nice heavy coat of primer on and then two top coats of finished colour which is a dark grey so that should get covered quite nicely. 
So you can see where the water travels in to your roof. You know, you've got a lot of tiles that are popped from the, um, the solar panel brackets. They haven't probably haven't been cut in properly because they're just tiles are popped up. Um, so I just thought I should show you this right across here. And then that one there, who's going to keep spraying to the end. And then we'll jump over the other side and knock that one out. You can see from the back roof how bad <clears throat> the roof originally was, but it's pretty bad. It was a lot worse than that. So we have been patient with the weather. It's paying off because the sky is starting to open up. We've got all that roof primed. It's nice and shiny. Um, this garage is the first one we sprayed. That's dry now. We had this little shower before. That's why everything's still a little bit damp, but um, we've got the weather, weather up. The sun's coming out. So now we're going to spray one coat or finish and then this little job will be done for the day. I don't like spraying a coat um, at the end of the day. I'd rather, if I'm going to spray a finish coat, I like to spray it first up in the morning so it's got all day to dry because um, you don't want the night air to get on it and drop the gloss level. Um, so we'll spray <clears throat> the first coat so but we lose a gloss level, we lose it. But at least that way we can come in tomorrow in the morning, spray this one, and then we can head over to the other roof and spray primer coat on that one. So we're still back on track with the wet weather. Uh, but <clears throat> what we'll do is I won't pop over to the next roof and spray a coat. I'll drop onto another job and start pressure washing that because um, I don't want to run the risk of rain coming in through the night and washing that job off because that's a much bigger roof than this one. So that's what we'll do. So <clears throat> day two, um, I didn't film yesterday afternoon because I pushed into the second roof. So we got the undercoat done on that. Um, it took about four drums of paint, so big roof. Um, so we got the first roof finished, second roof um, undercoated. And then what we did is we got the bill from the electrician, $385 to fix the two fans and the smoke alarm that got water in the roof. Uh, the owner rung me up this morning and said, how's everything going? I said, yeah, the roof's finished. Had to kick about seven tiles back that there was holes and stuff in the roof. Um, so that's where the water comes through because he's worried about water on the installation that the tenant said there was there. I said, no, there was um, tiles pushed and I couldn't see them when I was washing because the whole roof was black. Um, I think I got footage of that, but I got photos that I'll put them in there now. So we're day two, rained all night last night. So we're just finishing off this job. Uh, we just did the driveway, clean the facade, clean the solar panels and um, cleaned out all the gutters. Good got a whole bunch of um, paper barks at the back dropping leaves so our water tanks full so we're gonna turn that off <clears throat> we're gonna head up to the ceiling job that we did on Monday we clean the concrete so we clean the concrete off on Monday when we clean the other two roofs we're gonna go up there now and do the ceiling part of it well, the weather looks good. We'll get that sealed and then we'll come back down to the second roof and put the second coat on that roof. Um, and possibly we'll have to do that one on Friday because we've got a bit of rain coming in tomorrow, which hopefully it comes in tonight and then disappears. But we'll see how that plans out. So we're one roof down, one job down. We've got another one we're gonna finish today. Um, so we're already at eight grand or something like that already within the second day. So pushing, pushing, pushing. And um, yeah, sometimes it's not good for you, but we live with this. This is, we live with this. Remember that. No, I'm just kidding. Some weeks you're busy, some weeks you're not busy. Take advantage of it while you got it and then relax when you're on holiday. So we're going to head to the next one. So as I was just packing up, the neighbor come over, this house over here, and I just 
quoted him on the roof clean and the house clean, $1,200. Um, and he wants to get on the schedule. So we have to book him in in about four weeks time. So we'll come back and do that one. But as a nice little pickup, um, especially in this little pocket, got the golf course around us. So it's a nice little pocket of homes. Like you got this one here, massive home. It's two and a half stories to that peak and it's all cobwebs and dirty up there. So that would be a good one when I get the super pump. Might knock on their door and see if we can quote that one. But just waiting on the super pump from Southeast Softwash. It, um, we should be in the second wave, which should be coming in the mail. Cody's already said that he's um, sent it out. So I can't wait to make this Everflow extinct. But at the moment, it's still making me money. So it's still making me money. It's still worth being on the truck. But we've got the new one coming. So I would rather use the new one. And then that's going to be extinct animal right there. Catch you later. All right, guys. Yeah, sorry I didn't film it. We're just leaving the ceiling job now. Um, I just wanted to get into it before the rain come through. Get it all sealed, two coats. Um, so we are just leaving now and we're going to head to the roof repaint job and get that second coat down on it and then we'll just have to wait for a nice sunny day to get that one finished. So here we are, we're back at the second roof paint for the week. Um, I normally only book one in but um, this job and the other one were like pretty much five minutes from each other so I just decided to do it both one week. Prepping some tiles there uh, for when we leave in case they got repairs or something. Uh, we are going to blow out the gutters and fascias, so we'll tape that up on Friday, probably with the weather. Um, hopefully we can do it on Thursday, but we'll see what happens. Drums and drums of paint. Like, there's seven drums of paint there. And there's two over there, so that's like nine drums of paint. I think, what, they're $180 a pop, so it's nearly... $3,000 just in paint in this roof, so. Um, <clears throat> a lot of paint. So we were up here yesterday, we primed it all. Got it all primed up. The coating is pretty heavy. And we sprayed four, four drums up here. all the solar rails up oh, there's 10 kilowatts of solar going on the roof so they put all that in before we patched all the tiles because we had to repair some peaks and stuff <coughs> i've just got to seal up that crack before i spray two top coats and do the same down the other end the rest of it's all been sealed up ready to go so we're just going to get up here today and we're going to put a layer of colour on it. And then we're going to, we're going to take out those little anchor brackets in there. There's five little anchor brackets. We're going to pop them out and put some new tiles in there. Because I got a new flyover awning going in. That's a different design. So um, they don't need that ones anymore. That's pretty much what we got today. I've got a lead for another line marking job, so I've got to head over to the shopping centre, the small shopping centre, and quote that out for another company. Um, and then we'll send that price through and see what we get on that one. But um, yeah, this is pretty much gonna be day two, the end of day two, because once I get stuck into this, I'm not gonna film too much, because I just I wanna get moving just in case it does rain tonight, so we can get all this dry and um, move on from there. So, yeah, catch us later. So we're just about finished this roof. Um, we've been going for an hour and a half. As you can see, I've got this little bit here to do and front triangle. So 
What we're doing is we're spraying up the face. We spray up the face so we can catch that bottom lip. Um, we want to catch that nice and heavy. And just come down. So up one belly, down one groove. Nice and heavy. Catching that lip. You don't worry about the bottom lip too much because you'll catch it when you come back up here. Because you can see, see there's little misses there. So as you come back up, you'll cover that really easy. So, so we've got a little bit of the roof to finish off. Um, then we'll do this and then we'll be out of here two hours. And then we'll go do that line marking quote this afternoon. So we're here doing a quote. They want the yellow done around the roundabout the yellow done around that little island there. They want the zebra crossing done, the red and the white, done right across there. This car park is a separate quote. So the yellow up in here, we got two arrows there they want done. Um, then they want all these done. So there's four lines there with lettering. So we'll have to do the black square again and then spray the letters out um, there and then the lettering in here. So we're only washing where the lines are. We're not washing the car park. I've already asked the question, they don't want to do it. So what have we got here? Two, four, six. Got one, two. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So obviously there's one worn out there or it's a spare one. Um, and you got two, four, six, eight lines on that side plus laddering. And you got two, four, six, seven lines on that side plus laddering. So we're gonna have to do the black squares and the laddering. Um, so it's going to take a fair while to do this job, especially with the crossing, because we're going to have to do that late at night with how busy this place gets. So there's ample chance to do more work there. They don't want to do it inside the roundabout. We're just doing the yellow. So it's a fairly big job because it's multiple colors so you got the black the white the yellow and the red so you got four colors on one job so put it if you guys want to run through this and put it down below what you would what you would price it out at and i'll measure it up tonight and then um we can price it up together you see that zebra crossing there's two, four, six, eight, nine and a half white, and there's nine and a half red just on that crossing alone. And your standard two and a half meters wide. So we'd have to put some strips down. What I normally do is I put a, a strip of tape down and then I'll spray out all the red, and then come back and spray all the white, and then put sand on top of it while I go. So. Um, we got water supply here, so it's not so much a problem. We got a garden to clean up the gun in, so that's not so much of a problem. So we've got everything we need on site. So we just got to measure it up and put what we want on it. So let's go have a quick look at this crossing. So they've sprayed the whole lot out in the red and then they put the white over top which I'll go through and I'll line it and I'll spray bits and pieces. So this car park, they should be able to exit out through there, but we just have to do it outside of ours. So. You's right. And then we just got this little island here to do, which won't take long. Um, pressure washing wise, we'll have to come in one early morning, wash it all out one day and then and then get it done. So we're at home, 
and got my soda water. This is my diet. Um, we got the line marking job that we got a quote. We got one, two, three, four, five, six other quotes. So every day for the last week, two weeks, we've been getting an average of four to six jobs a day. It just like one day we'll get three and then some days we'll get six, seven, but we're quoting that many jobs um, every day, regularly from SEO and the website. Um, so six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six jobs. Three of them are roof cleans and two of them are bits and pieces and then one is a whole house. So there's quite substantial jobs. Um, the potentially there's three, four thousand dollars worth of work there. So it depends how I price that. Um, plus we got that quote today for the neighbor's house, which was twelve um, twelve hundred to do the roof and the house. So we got that um, as well. So pretty good.